Hey guys, you've probably seen a bunch of pros use the putting string drill, and we found a product by Perfect Practice Golf uh, that we're gonna review right now. So let's get to it. All right, hey guys, this is Brady and Tyson with Golf Ascending, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. We do create weekly golf content, so click that little notification bell. And today, we are reviewing the Raindrop from Perfect Practice Golf, and it's that putting string that you've probably seen pros use. And so we came across this, and we're like, hey, we gotta try this, we gotta review it. It is about $60, and so we'll give you our review, show you what it does and what the purpose is in improving your game, and you can decide if that's something worth putting in your bag. So right now, we're gonna go to Tyson, and he's gonna show us how to set it up and how to use it as a training aid. All right, guys, so I've got the Raindrop by Perfect Practice here. It comes this nice little pouch, and what is included inside are a couple of things. So throw that on the ground there. But we've got the raindrop here which is attached to a stake and it is retractable and then we've got another stake in which you attach the raindrop to now a couple things on this raindrop that I want to point out we do have a locking mechanism so this locks the line okay very important I'll go over that in a little bit second thing is this little teeny hole this is very important it's not for design aesthetics it actually is so that you can fit the stake through it and it'll stay there so here is the setup, okay? So we are on a practice green here, okay? Um, we've got just a, a semi-straight hole, a little bit of right to left breakage, but to start out, I'm actually going to take a putt and just kind of see where the natural line is, and then I'm gonna put the stake in and then adjust from there until I have the perfect break. So let's get into it. Alright guys, as you can see, I had to adjust my original line. Um, one of the putts that you saw there, I pushed it a little bit and I was like, no, that's not the right line, let's try it again. Once I found it, moved it to the right place, um, stuck it in there and we're good to go. All right, so one little tip uh, that I learned that really helps is when you do have the line, make sure you lock it first and then pull tight so that the line is taut and then stick it in there. See, if you, if you don't lock it and you stick it in and then you lock it, the line bows a little bit. See how it bounces? Now, if we unlock it, we're gonna lock, pull, it's a lot tighter. So that's my little tip, definitely helps out. Now that this is set up, as you guys can see, this works a lot like the Perfect Practice Putting Mat, okay? So as you notice on the Perfect Practice Putting Mat, or if you haven't, go check out our video. We've got a link for that. But there is a line with a, tr or there is a, a hole with a track and it has a line. And this is just like that, except for we're on real grass here. We're on a real green, we're finding out real pace, and we find that perfect line, okay? And once we find that perfect line like we did earlier, we're just working about working on pace, we're working on like striking the ball, and that's essentially it. So started that one off just a little bit left, but as you guys can see, I'm starting to figure out the pace on this green. Now, the reason why this is so important, and this is actually probably an item that I'm gonna carry in my bag, I think from now on, because when you are preparing for a round and you really wanna go low, you wanna shoot your best score, 
The best way to do that is in the short game. And if you can get to the practice green early, you can set this up, you will figure out that pace and you're gonna leave putts that close over there. Um, if not, you're gonna sink them. So that's just one putt. You know, let's try another one, see how good this line is. I think we're good on the pace. Lined it up. Ah, Oof. really close again. And see, this might be something that, you know, maybe I don't have the perfect line. I need to adjust it here and there. But as you guys can tell, I am figuring out this pace and I'm figuring out my putting stroke for this particular green. Now, there's actually another really good usage for this training aid. I'm actually gonna swing over to Brady here. He's gonna talk about that. Uh, let's get over to him. All right, so something about this training aid um, that helps obviously that we talked about is that you get the line and you can see the break. But something that honestly kind of sold me more on this product is that we can set that second pin to the spot where I want to aim for pace and my line. So I got my line, but it's also there for pace. So for a downhill putt like this one here, um, it's a little bit closer from the hole because that's where I want to hit to and it will go the right pace to get to the hole. Now, if you're doing a uphill putt, it'd be the opposite. It would be past the hole and that's where you're aiming for. So in this situation here, it's a little bit shorter. And before I hit, I'm just gonna aim for that pin. Boom. <laughs> All right, guys, my final thoughts on the Raindrop by Perfect Practice putting mat. Um, it's a great training aid. It is something that I will probably use taking out with me pre-round. Um, if I'm really wanting to get a feel for the greens, for the pace, you know, what, you know, breaks are going to look like. Um, I have that visual line I can go up against and I can really just find that pace really well. Something that I like about it too um, is that if you want to kind of cut off a break a little bit and challenge yourself, you can actually move the raindrop in, follow that line, and potentially use a more aggressive pace, or you can move it out further and use a slightly lighter pace. Um, so kind of make a game for yourself. But overall, I think this is something that definitely helps you pre-round. Um, you know, I understand not everybody has a putting green in their backyard that is you know, real, you know. Even if you do have a putting green and it's turf, this isn't gonna work for you because you gotta stake it into the ground. But I think it's great if you guys are out on the course a lot and you wanna practice the putting. All right, so some of my final thoughts on this product is we've tested it out and we've kind of reviewed it ourselves. Um, I, I really like it. I think it would help you in practice, but also like Tyson said in a pre-round as you're trying to get to know the pace and the breaks of the green, how it feels, this is a great tool. And there's a reason why pros are using similar tools like the raindrop. Um, like I said earlier, for me, at first, I was like, this is a little bit of a setup. I probably wouldn't use it all the time before a round. Um, but what kind of got me excited about this product was knowing that I could use the, the back stake or pin to choose my spot of where I'm gonna hit. And so I know the pace by how far, like my target, my spot that I'm aiming to, but then I also know the exact line. So I think it's a pretty cool product, um, something that would be worth having in the bag pre-round. If you're going for a scores, I think this would help your game immensely. All right, guys, that is our review on the Perfect Practice Raindrop. Um, if you guys are interested in this item, me and Brady do have a discount code. It does go to help the channel. Um, when you do check out at Perfect Practice, use the code GOLFASCENDING um, for 15% off. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the review, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. We upload golf content every week, and we'll see you next time.